Hi everyone. I would like to thank you for being interested in this study. Uh, now I would like to draw your attention to this study. This study is about uh, prevalence and determinants of medication adherence among the adults type 2 diabetes in Malaysia. The strength of this study is that uh, we have uh, able to recruit representative samples of type 2 diabetes adult patients at public uh, health clinics in Malaysia. And in these three public health clinics, we have uh, recruited a very good sample size, which are about 700 of them. And in terms of social demographic characteristics, we can infer that we have got a good samples which can represent the whole uh, peninsula Malaysia at the public health clinics. And the importance of doing a research in this uh, medication adherence among the adults type 2 diabetes is that we know medication adherence has many distal effects. It can cause uh, good or poor disease control, uh, leading to complications, healthcare utilities, and psychosocial burdens and psychological disorders in the family members, in the patients, and even among the healthcare providers who have to provide care for patients with poor disease control. And the, the main cause of many suboptimal and poor disease control among the adult type 2 diabetes mellitus could be due to medication non adherence. And the prevalence of medication non adherence has been reported to be about 30 40 percent, and in some regions, it could be as high as 50 percent. And this, this prevalent rate is, is what we reported in this study, which is about 50 percent. And the other strength of this study is that we use generalized linear. Uh, regression models to correct for the skewness in the, in the distribution of medication adherence data. And from our uh, analysis, we finally uh, discovered that patients who are younger and who have earned more than about 800 USD dollars a month and patients with some depressive symptoms are prone to medication non-adherence. So, uh, from this study, we would like to uh, convey the message to, to our colleague at the public health clinics that these types of patients need extra attention in order to improve their medication adherence and their disease control and even their psychological well-being.